We're going to pass by all of your fallen comrades in uh, not their physical form, but in other forms, and uh, you can talk about them. As you look into the finals, if you guys, all three, are going to make it there. All right, let's go. Oh, Katie. Hey, Katie. What's up, bro? I'm a member of Tagi. Kata, you're awesome. This game was not, not the same without you yeah. <laughs> after the first game. Uh, you didn't really have your due uh, part in this game since you sat out the first challenge like a trooper, but some fools decided to vote you out. I don't know what there is to say. One week, Katie was in the lounge picking her Pokemon card, and the next week, her flame was snuffed. Thanks for uh, picking me first, Katie. So, I mean, I definitely didn't expect Katie to get out first. That shocked me. That was definitely one of the shocks I saw at this game. Um, okay, I just got to vote it off, even though I didn't play in the last one. Um, it's kind of upsetting, just because, like, the challenge didn't even have enough spots, so it's not like everyone could have played anyway. And at least, like, I showed up, and then I helped set up for the thing. So it just sucks that I got voted off. Wow. Unfortunately, Ben was voted out nine to one. I'm pretty sure everybody involved in that vote. Yeah, that shit was fault. Was just <laughs> Felt bad. I said in my thing that it's too bad ever. Everybody just uniformly voted Ben out because he could have been someone I could have worked with down the line. Just because I didn't know who his allies were, and I think I had a good shot at actually being one of them. Got voted off. Um, kind of sad, honestly. It was. I was starting to have fun doing this. Uh, good luck to everybody else, and I will see you around, around La Plata all the time. Bear, bear. We're, in the, we're in the classic sweat. Seriously, Meredith, I, I can't believe things happened the way they did. I think you're still a great Survivor player, and, and you went out with a bang, and uh, I think that's pretty awesome. I feel like this was a crucial vote. I feel like if the vote went the other way, Danny would have been the one on this poster, and Meredith might have been standing here with me and Alex. You know, whoever won this vote was definitely going far, so. Torp Jim for Meredith. Meredith, you're a pretty cool survivor player. Um, you know, possibly at the uh, at the first meeting, if you would have decided to uh, be team leader, you probably would have stuck together more, but you scared me when you decided not to be team leader and you knew the most about Survivor. Sorry. Um, I never looked for the idle clue, was planning on sticking with my alliance for a while, I mean I did have some plans in the future, but I uh, guess that won't be happening, but um, it was fun to play and I'm glad that Austin set this all up, and I hope we have a Toggy win, so. Ah, Clark. Clarissa. And my boy Clark. Picture says it all. <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, this guy over yeah, here. I don't, know. I don't know how this happened. I knew it was going to happen. I was not the mastermind. This is when nobody knew I had Kyle in my back pocket. Kyle came to me, told him Steph had told him to vote Clark. But I thought it was smarter to, to know what was going to happen, know there was nothing I could do about it, but still, still make sure, pretend to be shocked just so people wouldn't think I was a traitor, even though I wasn't. You're still the illest be alive, Clark. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know how I got voted out. I uh, guess I insist on the fact that this was a really, really stupid decision on Pagong's part. But we don't have leadership on this team without me. They voted me out because I was the single leader point. I don't know who's going to unify this track. I don't know how they're going to do anything competitive from this point on. It sucks that they voted me out. I was really excited about playing this game. Um, and <laughs> I have a lot more free time to fill now. Doug, looks like you're almost like having fun there. <laughs> yeah. cool. I have to thank you for reviewing it, man. It was uh, very clutch because that could have very easily been me. Um, Alex. What? You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. But, uh, Doug, I, I thought we were going to go far together. I, that was, uh, I, I was very upset to see you. Know. If I could do it again, I think we'd definitely be a little more proactive about it. Yeah, Nicole has screwed you over even though she thinks you're cute. Yeah, right? I mean, I'm not going to overreact and get all mad after it. It was a lot of fun. I'm really competitive. I'm an extremely competitive person, so I didn't want to get voted off. But it's business.
I was a little shocked just because I thought I still had value to my tribe to this point. I have nothing else to say. But I'm just gonna keep talking. Because he's just over there waiting and waiting and waiting. So I'm just gonna troll him right now and just keep on talking. Victoria, can't believe they voted you out. I don't think you did anything wrong. Um, I was just sad to see you go. Yeah, same. You were in a bright spot at all the challenges. <laughs> Seems like I know a lot about this one. You can thank Nick for this, Victoria. It was supposed to be Steph up until about two minutes before the vote when Nick refused to vote Steph and was adamant on voting you out. So we just did it to make Nick happy. You know, it didn't matter to us. Our plan was to get rid of all the girls before we got somewhere. Um, I don't really have anything to say. It was fun. I enjoyed the game. I don't even know who that is. Nicola, okay, okay. <laughs> Nicola, I think you played a great game. Um, you know, I, I think it's very tough to come in here not really knowing anyone really. And uh, it, make it that far, I think you were a uh, very good player. Green at volleyball too. And, uh, uh, sad to see you go. Yeah, Nicola, I think you um, tried to mess with too many people in Tagi. Um, you know, I was on to you. I thought you were trying to be sincere when we secretly met at the soccer game when I was sitting next to Austin and I went and met you at the concession stand. Um, then you got dug out and said you didn't know why you got him out after you confirmed the vote with me. And I just can't trust people that lie to me, so. Oh, hello. I got voted out. I saw it coming. Um, uh, no hard feelings, I'm really good. That's all I have to say, good luck. If I had to root for one person to win, I would root for... Dan. Post-merge. Uh, Not post-merge. Pauline, I'm very sorry. Uh, you know, I mean, it just kind of worked out, like, all the guys kind of allied. Uh, I'm very sorry. Um, well, this is when me and Alex were running things on Pagong. Uh, nobody, I never got a text or a shout out or anything, so Colleen, because of that, I mean, there was no reason to keep you as opposed to somebody else that somebody like Alex may have been more aligned with and I was aligned with Alex, so. I had a lot of fun though, so I made a lot of friends even if I did make some enemies, and but I think it matters more that I had fun and made friends than the enemies because I just still not have to hang out with them anymore. I think I'm happy with how I did. I came in not really knowing anybody, which I think was a disadvantage because I feel like everybody else had pre-existing ties to different members and were able to make alliances. I can honestly say that I played an honest game, which is something that most people can't say. I never broke any alliances, I never lied to anybody, never purposely misled anyone. Nasheen. Sorry, Nasheen. Nasheen, I didn't know you were playing Survivor. <laughs> kind of under my wing with Kyle and Nick, and then when she got switched off on her own, I knew there's no shot she was gonna make it to the merge. Nasheen, what is your decision on whether you are doing the duels or not? Um, I decided not to because I feel like I haven't been there for a lot of the things, so I wouldn't want to take someone's spot who actually really wants to be there and like who like is able to go to more of the uh, the challenges. Because I don't know, you said that the next one's gonna be like a mental one, and I'm good at those puzzles, and I wouldn't want to like win and then take someone's spot who really wants to be on there. Book here. Kyle, uh, I think I could talk a lot about this one. Yes. Um, this really, I think Woo! this vote speaks a lot to how good of a player you are and how much respect I have for you. That's why I wanted you out. I just, I figured you were going to be too sneaky and uh, I could not trust you because you made it so far without having like too many allies. I just, I kind of panicked and got you out. So I, I apologize, but it realized it was out of respect. Apparently, uh, you know, the plan was to vote Flannery. Flannery is an ally of Alex. Kyle was an ally of mine. 
but you know, uh, Alex and Tyreek went by my back and took out, took out Kyle. <laughs> Where'd it gotten around of your kill order and your 100% kill streak or whatever you're talking about? I didn't really quite like that. Um, I noticed that you and Shubal were coming buddy buddy. Um, since you didn't know as many people in the game um, compared to other people, I thought maybe you found the idol, picked Shubal out as a guy who didn't, who wasn't as tight with the rest of the guys as the others with us, and tried to confide in him. So I thought there's a chance that you had the idol. Um, and I had saved Flannery right before the, the tribe swap and I told her to stick with Alex through the tribe swap. She did. Um, Alex kept her around and Kyle, you had to take the heat for it. Um, it was great guys. I had a lot of fun. Um, I really wish I could have gone farther. It was you know, a great thing Austin put together. Uh, it taught me a whole other thing about college. I can say that I had this experience for the rest of my life now. Um, I was ranked 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Went number 11. It was great, um, great experience. I'll never forget it. someone that did as much secret backstabbing and like game like not backstabbing necessarily but gameplay it's like if you want to play hard I don't like people that just sit there and hope they don't get voted out all right so I just got voted off um, I was a little bit surprised because I thought that um, it was gonna be Shubal going home instead of me but that's fine I'm, I'm glad I made it this far top 10 that's farther than I thought I was gonna go I almost got sent home when Meredith got sent home so feel pretty good about what I've done um, and I had a lot of fun, met a lot of people um, and I get to be on the jury. Uh, kudos to Kyle, I'm not, I'm not quite sure why he did that to me. <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't really do anything to Kyle, I don't know why. I, I knew what was going on in the game, I just was unaware that I had a false idol. <laughs> why Kyle? Why did you do that to me Kyle? What? <laughs> I speak? Yeah. Alright, uh, Cassie. Really sorry to see you go. I thought uh, we would be able to um, kind of like keep a uh, old Tagi thing going, but um, yeah, I mean, uh, I had some pressure from Shugo there, uh, and just like, I thought you were pretty dangerous as well. I, I know you're, you know, like, you know everyone pretty well, you make connections really pretty easily, so uh, yeah, sorry to vote you out. This one was a tough one for me because Cassie and I, we're starting to form a mini alliance. Not anything formal, but I would ask her who she was voting. She would ask me who I was voting each week. I tried to get to be somebody else besides <laughs> you, but I really had no power in the situation. Yeah, Cassie, you were a fantastic player in this game. You were um, challenged to get back in the game was awesome. Oh yeah, that was. When we went to look for the idol, like you were just like giggling, like when I took you on the spot, and I don't know, I just. I honestly am sorry that I accused you of having the idol. Um, I feel like an idiot, but I just felt like you had it. Um, so, sorry. it's uh, not really a shock. It's not, I don't know, this is pretty much how I expected it to go. I guess I'm still better about the fact that Nick got out. Like, I really like Nick, and like, I didn't want to see him go because I felt like he actually was one of the few people who deserved to still be there. I kind of just learned that people tend to do what you expect them to do, you know? Like, if you, your gut's telling you they're lying, they're probably lying. And if you're having a conversation you feel like you can actually trust someone, either you're just being ignorant or you probably actually can trust them. So it was interesting to see that most things actually played out the way that you would expect them to. This is Alan. Um, this one I was the swing boat for. Basically, um, so you told me to vote Tyreek, and I had an alliance going with Alex that was pretty strong. You know, I had an alliance with Danny, but I thought Danny was getting weary because I did screw him <laughs> over one time. So I hoped, you know, this would also affirm that I was back with Danny and Alex. Um, so I sided with them over the other side just because I thought, you know, we had a good thing going. Sorry, Alan. Yeah, I, I kind of got worried at this point. I know, you know, you and Flanner were pretty close and uh, you know with only seven people left in the game you guys were forced to be reckoned with you know he almost voted out Tariq uh, so yeah it's um, 
it was unfortunate that you had to go, but I think you played a great game. Dude, Alan, honestly, you are a true champion of Survivor. You accounted for probably at least 50% of Toggy's wins. Let's see, you were always easy to work with. You know, you always stuck to your word. You asked me what was up, I let you know. And um, this is just one of the many product, or a product of Shubal winning and everybody else is being pissed off and having to take a friend out. So, uh, you know, sorry. So pretty much I had a great time playing Survivor. Um, I'm really glad Austin set it up because it was a lot of fun and it definitely like kept me like something to look forward to as the semester progressed. And I made it to the bot the last seven and out of 21 people. So yeah, it was a pretty good, pretty good, uh, I guess run that I had in the game. I like I like the way that I played the entire game. I think I kept my word and. Even though like I was pretty under the radar, I still had a good contribution to the tribes, both the tribes that I was on, and I had a great time, and hopefully the right person wins at the end. You, and then if you, you should have played one for me. If you would have played one for me, that would have just, especially if you had another one in your back pocket the whole time. Well, you told, you told <laughs> I would have had no idea Alex. about that. Uh, Flannery, to tell me the um, vote you so. I really think we had a uh, great like alliance going on. Uh, you know, being on Tagi together and then being on Young, uh, and then throughout the merge. Flannery, I did not see this one coming. This was another time that I was bamboozled. Uh, I contemplated playing an IO for Danny this time, thinking that maybe you would be have the second most votes, but you know, I didn't because I didn't want to go back on my alliance. But none of that really mattered because I had no idea what was going on. Um, Flannery, immediately after I got Meredith out, it was my goal to keep you with me. Um, as weird as that sounds, I was pretty sure I could make it happen. Um, and you were very easy to work with. You were uh, fun to play the game with. You always gave great answers at Tribals. Um, as soon as I saw you eat those chicken tenders for the first <laughs> challenge, I was like, we have to keep Flannery around because she's willing to do whatever to help this tribe win. Um, and, you know, basically just from there, I wanted to keep it around as long as possible. I was like on the verge of getting voted out, and I managed to get lucky and play my cards right and stick around. The roof. I've yeah, always wanted to just like hang out. Oh, that's hey. awesome. uh, Grace, uh, Grace, you are probably the biggest threat. You are you care the most, and uh, you you are awesome. Um, Grace I had big plans for me and you in our <laughs> our <laughs> endless war against Danny, but I you know you guys work together for how long again? Um, no. maybe five minutes, six minutes. <laughs> Grand and plans. Yeah. And then, you know, you wanted to go out, so I put you out of your misery, and I, uh, yeah, I knew it was Danny talking there, because Grace was all of a sudden not interested, and then all of a sudden she's like, oh no, I have a master plan, give me your idol. And, um, no, yeah, I guess you wanted to get out, and you're welcome. <laughs> Grace, you played a quite an interesting game. I'm not sure if you wanted it to work out as well as it did. <laughs> but, uh... For a game of friends, you uh, made for quite the interesting option every tribe was. I think that's, you know, what kept you around, and I think that was an interesting style of play. Thanks for playing. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I did enjoy myself. Okay. Yeah. And I... That's your last words? Yep. Those are my last words. Really? Alright, so... You guys have gotten the chance to look back at all the players who got you here. And as I said before, fire does represent your life in this game. These guys have kept your torch alive, indirectly or directly. You put theirs out and they kept yours going. So you guys are going to give them one last breath of life as you guys advance to the end of the game. And then as their fire goes out, they will officially be done with the game and it will be down to you guys battling it out for the end. So Dan, if you want to do the honors, if you want to say any last words. 
It's been great playing with you guys, all of you. Really. I've had a blast. It was great to get to know some of you that I didn't know and uh, to get those that I did know even better. And uh, I hope we can all be friends after this. I really do. I mean that. Sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs>